My name is Vanessa. I'm an exercise physiologist at PeopleFit. Today we'll be doing a beginner total body strength routine. So basically we're just going to switch between two strength exercises, working the whole body. Dumbbells optional. If you have them, great. If you want to just use your own body weight, that's totally fine. Um, and just again, do whatever feels comfortable. We're going to just start with just kind of warming everything up. Not that we're not warm already. But we'll warm the muscles up, walking back and forth, swinging your arms side to side. Good. All right. So our first exercise is going to be a tricep extension. So if you do have weights, you can grab those. Oops, I just cut off my head. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So if you have dumbbells, you can go ahead and grab those. We're gonna have our feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat. We're gonna have our weight starting at our hips with our elbows in. Then we're gonna extend back, really working that back part of your arm, and then slowly coming back in. So really we're just moving from our elbow down. Good. Three. Again with this, if you want to look towards the ground, if it hurts your neck to hold it up, that's totally fine. Whatever feels more comfortable. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome. You can put your weights to the side. We're going to switch between that and a side leg raise. So again, optional holding on to a wall, counter, whatever you can hold on to. We're going to come to the side, making sure that toe stays facing forward. So we don't want it to go in the direction that we're kicking. But we'll come out, slowly come back down, trying to hover over the ground if you can, and back up. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side, feet together, coming out to the side, toes still facing forward, slowly lowering down, trying to hover over the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, shake those legs out. We're gonna grab our dumbbells again and go back to the tricep extension. All right, so feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging forward, weight at your hip, elbows in, extend out and come back in. We're only moving from our elbow down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Awesome. All right, let's do one more set of that side leg raise. So again, holding on to something if you want. Come out to the side, toe facing forward, slowly down, trying to hover over the ground. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Toe pointed to the front, slowly lowering down, hovering over the floor. And trying to keep your body upright as well, trying not to lean to the side too much. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, shake those legs out. Now we are going to go into a um, bicep curl. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells, elbows glued, palms facing forward. We're gonna curl to the top, making sure those wrists don't Bend towards you, keep them straight, and slowly lowering down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. We are going to switch between that and a row. So grabbing those dumbbells again, feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging forward, weight side in front of you. And we're going to pull back, squeezing your shoulder blades together like you're holding something between them and slowly coming back down. Trying to, when you pull back, keep your elbows as close to your body as you can. Three. Four. Squeeze. Don't forget that squeeze in the back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Let's go back and do each of those one more time. So palms facing forward, elbows glued, curl to the top, and slowly back down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Awesome. Let's go back to the row. Feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at your waist, back flat, weights out in front of you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and slowly come back down. Two, elbows close to your body. Pretend like you're squeezing something between those shoulder blades. Good. Try to relax your neck as much as you can. Again, you can look down at the floor a couple feet ahead of you if it feels more comfortable. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. Awesome. You can put your weights to the side. 
Now we are going to do, with our leg, up, out, in, and back on the floor. Again, you can decide how far you want to lift it on that initial um, up. And then, so if you want to stay down here and do it, if you want to go all the way up, whatever feels more comfortable. Again, I would suggest grabbing onto something for balance. We're going to do 12 on each side. All right. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Good. Up, out, in, down. We're halfway. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Three to go. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Last one. Up, out, in, and down. Shake those legs out. We'll switch to the other side. Up, out, in, and down. Again, bring it up as high as you feel comfortable. Trying to work that quad muscle in the front. Good. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Good. Up, out, in, down halfway, up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Three to go, up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. One more, up, out, in, and down. Good. We'll shake those legs out. We're going to switch between that and a reverse fly. So again, optional grabbing your dumbbells. If, if this bothers your shoulders at all, you can go back and do those bicep curls again. If not, we're going to be in that same position as the other two. Feet together, slight bend in the knee. Hinging at the waist, back flat, weights out in front, but instead we're coming out to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and slowly come down. So really trying to work that upper back. Good. Three. Four. Good, make sure that back is flat. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. All right. We're going to go back to that up, out, and down again. We got this. All right. Again, you decide how far you want to lift your leg up. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in. Down. Trying to stand up as tall as you can. Again, so if you want to hold on to something, you can definitely do that, if, especially if it helps you stand up straight. Good. Out, in, down. Five, up, out, in, down. We're halfway there. Got this. Out, in, down. Up, out. In, down, up, out, in, down. Three more, up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. One more, up, out, in, 
and down. Great job. Shake those legs out. We'll switch to the other side. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, down. Good. Three, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Good. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Good. We're halfway. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Three to go. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Last one. Up, out, in, and down. Great. Shake those legs out. We're going to go back to the reverse fly for your upper back. Grabbing those weights again. Feet together. Slight bend in the knee. Hinging up the waist. Weights out in front. Back flat. Coming up to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades together, really working on that upper back. Two, three. Again, with your head, you can either look up or a few feet in front of you on the ground, if it bothers your neck. Trying to loosen your neck as much as you can. You're focusing mostly on the upper back. Good. Five more. Good. And last one. Awesome. Okay. Take a quick water break if you need. Then we're going to go into some more. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is a squat. So, again, with the squat, we're going to have our toes facing forward. And we're going to pretend as if we are sitting down on a chair, coming down as far as you feel comfortable, making sure those knees don't go over your toes. So make sure they stay behind. Again, you can come down just a little bit, you can come down further, whatever feels more comfortable. Hands however you want them. We'll do 12 of those. Okay, ready and go. One. Really trying to work those glute muscles. Good. Three. Four, trying to keep your back flat as much as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Awesome. All right, we are going to switch between that and a side arm raise. Again, any, if this bothers your shoulder, I would do this either without weights or I would go back and do another set of those tricep extensions. If not, we'll grab our weights and we'll come bring our arms out to the side and slowly come back down. Relax your neck as much as you can. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Relax those shoulders. Good. Last one. Awesome. All right. So let's go back to our squat. One more set. Toes facing forward. Coming down as if you're sitting on a chair. Knees behind your toes. Good. Two. Back flat. 
three. And if you want to do a sit to stand and come up and down from a chair, that's fine too. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Shake those legs out. We'll go back to the side arm raise, or if your shoulders bother you, go back to that tricep extension. All right. One. Relax the neck muscles, keep those shoulders down, making sure that when you come up, you're not bringing your shoulders too high up. Good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Awesome. All right, for the last two, we are going to switch between a calf raise 20 times. Then we're going to do, let me get my timer, an arm circuit. Here. So for the arm circuit, we're going to do 12, I mean, sorry, 20 seconds circling forward, 20 seconds back, 20 seconds up, and 20 seconds down. But first, let's start with our 20 calf raises. Ready? And go. So again, with the calf raises, think up towards the ceiling with a string, trying not to let your hips come forward at all. Good. Six. Holding on if you need. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome, shake those legs out. We'll get ready for our arm circles, circling forward in three, two, one. Little circles forward. Again, if this feels like too much, you can take a rest in between. But if not, we're going to continue at 20 seconds in each direction. Good. All right, we'll reverse in three, two, one. Reverse. You got this. We're almost there. We're going to stretch after this. So we only have one round. So you got this. So again, the next one will be palms facing up towards the ceiling, pulsing up. Little pulses. Three, two, one. Little pulses up. Again, try to, as much as you can, relax your neck. Really focus on using your arms. Good. We have one more down. You got this. We're almost there. Down in three, two, one. Palms facing down, pulsing towards the floor. Last 20 seconds, then we'll stretch. You got this. Halfway, almost there, five seconds, three, two, one, ah, okay, so now let's, let's roll those shoulders back, good, trying to relax your shoulders and neck, we'll circle forward, arms across, or one arm across your body, Again, I always say this in the beginning now of the stretches. We're just doing a quick couple minute stretch um, routine. But if you want to, you can repeat these stretches again after. We'll switch sides. Or check out our dedicated stretch videos and relaxation videos if you want a longer stretch. So I'd recommend holding at least 30 seconds and up to a minute for all these stretches, just for time's sake. We'll just do, you know, five to 10 seconds. So elbow behind, grabbing on. 
Good. And again, with the stretches, just do whatever feels comfortable. Switching to the other side. Good. Letting your arms fall down. We'll do a big head circle, really slow. Making sure there's no pain. Other way. Go the other way one more time. And back around. Arms out in front of you, tucking your head in to get that back of your neck. Trying not to move your whole body down, just your head. Good. Arms behind your back. Stretch. Slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward. Stretching out your back of your legs and your back, grabbing onto your elbows. Slowly rolling up to the top. Deep breath in. And we are done. Great job, everyone. I'm going to have a great day, everyone.